Welcome, party peoples of 2018. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, welcome to Learning Letters on this very fine Friday, March 2nd. Thank you for joining. Hello! We're at actually a, a different time. Usually we do this at 11 a.m. Eastern on Fridays, but I was indisposed. In other words, I was in an appointment and I could not be here at our usual time to learn letters with you. But now we are here and that's okay because we're going to keep going. So I'm seeing a new crowd, which is very interesting. Different, uh, different to the regulars, except for Steve. What's up? Hello. <laughs> Hi, Jose. Um, this is pretty fun because it's like, like I get to chat with some new people. Oh, Espiri Brown. Oh, of course. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, if you're unfamiliar, today is Learning Letters, and this is where we will do stuff like this. So, again, I'm not a formal calligrapher, but I do spend a lot of my time, an awful, awful lot of my time, playing with pens and nibs. Oh, no, this is not what I wanted. I have the wrong pen. Oh. Okay, never mind. Sorry, guys. I, um, I forgot to re-ink my 6mm parallel, and that's just the way it's going to be, so we're going to use the... 2.4 millimeter, which is completely fine. Give these other pens a bit of love, shall we? Ah, you were at school, yes. I, I often wonder if I should change the time, but it does go up on YouTube after, so I figure, you know. Okay, enough of my chit chat, let me draw something here. Um, I'm gonna do an Old English style. I say style because it's not really proper Old English and I should be ashamed to call it Old English style. It looks complicated. It is actually, I must say, I struggle with the D. So as you can see, this doesn't really look like a very good D and that's because I'm not very good at it. But that's the whole idea of learning letters. We are going to learn how to do this. So I make two tails. I give it a long bottom flop and I go like this and try to get those to line up. Sometimes it doesn't and I have to add it in, but that's okay. Yes, yes, it is live. We are live, yay. Then I decorate it a bit and I give it two little dragon spikes. Ta-da! Wow, that was ugly, wasn't it? Let me try that again. The thing is, I'm just not good at the D. I just can't make it look as, see, that did work. So sometimes I'll just do that. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? I can't make it look as good as it's supposed to. And I'm thinking I need to... I need to extend that more somehow. Anyway, <laughs> work in progress, obviously. Uh, that's really ugly. I'm so sorry. That's just the way it is, though. I really enjoy this one, though. So let's do that one. Let's like let's ignore this hideousness. This is like a I don't know what is this. That's not really gothic. Um, maybe like a like a fracture of sorts. Yeah. So this one is pretty doable. What we're gonna do is we are going to use a line and a half at an angle, go like this, one line, give it a bum of sorts, give it a top. And notice that I'm not really changing the angle of the nib. Okay, so we got a standard D and then I give it two little tails just because I like to do stuff like this because it makes it look like I know what I'm doing, but I'm not, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. Hello! Hi, newcomers! I'm gonna do that one again. I, again, I, I really enjoy this particular style of letter because it looks really cool and it's not too difficult. And I'm not changing the angle of the nib. What's up, Hassan? Hello! Am I boring you guys yet? Maybe. Maybe, but that's just too bad, isn't it? Because you have to listen to me anyway. No, that's not true. You don't have to. Um, so I enjoy that one. Next up, I'm just going to do like, this is just a, this is the Sailor music nib. And basically it's just a completely normal D. You know, like you could do it like that. You can put it at an angle, um, you can give it a bit of a tail. It's a normal D. It's, it's nothing fancy. Maybe a bit like italic inspired, but that's about it. Anyone can do this. 
And in that regard, I really enjoy the Sailor Music Nib because I think it's really versatile. Oh, you got your SBRE Brown ink. I'm so glad. That's so fun. I hope you like it. Yeah, the bottle is really cool. I am slightly biased because I was involved in the ink color, but um, that's about it. Okay, so for this D, I'm going to do stuff like this, which is, again, this is the Pilot Metropolitan 1.0 millimeter stub. These Ds I'm going to do, you could totally do this. It's it just like a straight up plain old D. I think this is a lovely nib. Smooth, but it has sharper edges. Another thing I'd like to do is give the letter a couple tails, and I think it's cute. Ooh, fancy. So if I were to copy like th these, it just gives it a bit more crispness, tiny bit more variation, if you're looking for something a little sharper. So we can also, you know what? I'm actually gonna do the uh, these ones quickly. And then I'll switch back because I want to show you these ones because I really like those two as well. Okay. Um, now, I'm trying to do this so that the... Sorry about the shadow. I, I have so many lights on. I just... I, I can't uh, eliminate the shadows completely. So for this, it's just a cursive D. And this is one option. Another one that I enjoy doing is making the D a little. What is this? Where did, where did this come from? How long has that been there? Ah, weird. I thought it was a bug or something. Did you guys see this drop? That's really weird. Okay, uh, sorry about that. I'm going to do slightly flourished cursive D. I think that one's fun pretty easy to do. I make it my standard that it starts with a tail up top. It has two loops and then it swoops back. So if I were to write, hmm, what can I write with the letters we have already used? We have used H E L O and then A, sorry, B C. I should be using something to protect the page from my, from oils because it's obviously skipping. Uh, you know what I'm going to write? I'm going to write dab. Just applying very minimal pressure to get just a touch of line variation. Dab! Woohoo! You can also do dad. Why don't we use a different D for that? Dad. can also do here is duh although we didn't use the you know what duh because we haven't used you yet um this is a bit more of like a modern casual script because it's a little more inconsistent than you would find with like a typical calligraphy script um okay so so another thing you could do with the d is just kind of stretch it out a bit which is I don't know, I think it's pretty fun. Dab. Dad. It's like words with gourmet pens. Hmm. Um, okay, let's do something with the Lamy. Now, I have the 1.1 millimeter nib on here. And because it's small, like the nib is on the smaller side, and I'm using a fairly light ink in here, I am just going to rewrite my couple of words here. Super nice nib. Um, I'll just show you if I were to do a D like this, like how cute and tiny it looks. But you have to pay attention to the lines on this one because it's so small that the lines can cross quite easily. But like, like look how cute that is. Is that not super adorable? In fact, 
It's just so tiny and cute. An itty bitty little D. Oh, sorry. There you go. Itty bitty little D. You can still use the Lamy calligraphy nib, which this is, for a cursive D because it'll still give you some line variation. Still look pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna hold these up. Then we'll flip the page and do a foundational and an uncho. Do, 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 do. I hope you're all super silent because you are over there with your nibbage practicing along with me. Okay, so let's do a foundational. Now the foundational is quite round and curvy. Everyone is overwhelmed. Everyone is blown away by the amazing letterage that is going on here. Is that a word? No. Okay, so as I said, foundational is quite round. So let's... Okay, nope, forget it. That was a bad one. Ignore that. This is what happens, people. It happens. That's really ugly, isn't it? I don't often do foundational with a smaller nib like this. There we go. That's not too bad. What do you think? Horrendous? It is Friday afternoon and my brain is asleep and it's just, it's, it's done. My brain is done. I'm going to turn that sound off. Sorry about that. Yeah, old English is really tough. And as you can see, I'm really bad at it myself. So, <laughs> um, let me... Let me see here. I have, okay. Um, you know, I know why I'm bad at it. It's because I flipped it. So, I mean, like flipped the formal version of it. Okay, so we got that. And then there was like a second thinner line. And then from this, oh, Aziza, 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 you were so dumb. From this, yes, now it looks more like a letter D. Oh my gosh. Okay, I already warned you, I'm not, a, I'm not a professional. Like this is all a work in progress, even for me. And with the tail, I'll just add a little doom. That looks more like a letter D, doesn't it? Hello, snowy buffalo. I must admit that it's actually not that nice here either, so. I grew up in, um, in the Canadian prairies where uh, like weather of minus 30 Celsius is pretty much not a surprise. So, and, and lots of slow snow and lots of blizzards. So the, the snow that's currently happening in Ontario is not really shocking to me, but it's really fun to see others experience extreme snow for the first time. Or not the first time, but it helps because where I grew up, the, the city was prepared for that kind of snow, but many other places weren't. It does look like a backpack. Oh my God, it does. And I can't even draw and I made a backpack. Okay, so that is maybe a little more better of an old English. You like the first one better, like on the other page. All right, that's cool. That makes me feel better because this is kind of like my random creation that I made up. Okay, so let me just try that one more time. Okay, we could do that. And then we can do a smaller tail. And then we can go like so. And then give it a little tail. I'm going to flip the nib so it... You know, some letters are just not, just not something I should work on. Like, I'm really good at the letter H, I think. Let's do an H. This is my style of H. Like, I've added my own tail and everything, and like, I'm really good at this, but, oh, well, you know. Yeah, it is a lot easier with the six millimeter parallel. The smaller the nib, the more, um, like, the more precise you have to make each stroke, and I'm just, the D is just something I'm not good at. But that's okay, because I want to show you anyway, because that way we can all do it together. Uh, and the last thing, the last D was the unshow D. That one's not too bad. It's not as obviously not as round as the um, the foundational is. 
Yes, thank you, SBRA Brown. That is an excellent point. Everybody, even if you are doing a casual or a formal script, adds their own flair and touch and character and style to their handwriting, their calligraphic script. So that always happens. Ah, yes, snow in places that are unprepared or unfamiliar with a lot of snow. Indeed, you get some time off. Mm, no, I was going to write, I don't know what I'm writing. Da. Dab. No, nope, that didn't work either. Can you tell I'm low on ink? Just a bit. Uh, the inks. Yes, this one up here, I'll just hold it up. That is Kobe number 21. It's Tai Sanji yellow. And I'll just, um, let me just use this. I'll just write it because Kobe 21, Tai Sanji yellow. This one here is... I'm pretty sure it's a bung box. Bung box dandyism. And then this one is Aurora Blue Black. But I think we have been using these inks for pretty much since the start. And I think it is time to change them up. The pen I use for cursive. This is the Pilot Falcon. This is the metal version. There's also a resin version, which is not as expensive as this one. Same nib, it's just a little bit, uh, it's ever so slightly smaller, but it's much lighter because it's not metal. This nib is a soft fine. Also available in soft extra fine, soft medium, soft broad, but I think the fine is a nice, uh, like a nice balance between getting line variation and not being too scratchy or too much feedback or anything like that, so. Alrighty, I have rambled forever with my D, the letter D. I'm so grateful for all of you for joining because otherwise I would be talking to myself and that's not fun. And I hopefully, like, I hope this has been sort of useful and that you've kind of gotten a few ideas of different kinds of letters you can play with, also some different pens you can use. And don't feel intimidated, this is super fun. And even if I'm terrible, there are people out there who are fantastic and not terrible. You just need to practice, right? Okay, well, everyone have a lovely weekend. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And we will see you next week. Bye, everyone.